Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how you can use the additional mix documents in the Record Drum Takes Refill. The additional mix documents in the Drum Takes Refill provide different mixer channel settings for all drum channels and result in a different drum sound altogether. Using these additional mixes is a very convenient way of defining the overall drum sound in your song. Plus, it's a great way of learning how drums can be mixed. As in the previous Drum Takes video tutorial, we'll use Record and Reason Duo, so we'll have access to the NNXT sampler as well. However, this is not necessary to be able to use the additional mix documents. They'll work just fine in Record Standalone as well. Since the additional mix song documents also make use of various send effects, for example reverbs, the easiest would be to start building your song from the additional mix document. However, if you choose to copy the drum tracks to another song, you can manually copy the send effects afterwards, or load send effect patches from the effect patches folder in the drum takes refill. To make it easy to find a suitable drum mix sound, the Record Drum Takes Refill provides a couple of bars of audio of each of the featured additional mixes. Let's use the Import Audio File function to preview the audio examples of the additional mixes. OK, I think this drum sound would be great for my song. The name of the preview audio file is the same as that of the additional mix song document. Let's cancel the preview and open the corresponding multi-track additional mix song document. Here we have the complete multi-track session of the additional mix. There are also a couple of bars of audio included for preview purposes. Since I won't need the preview audio clips in my song, I'll just delete them. Since all the song documents in the Record Drum Takes Refill are read-only files, I save a copy of the additional mix document using the Save As command. Now, I want to use the drum audio clips from one of the regular Record Drum Takes Refill songs and use them in my song. I select all audio clips in the regular song and select Copy. I switch to my song and select Paste. Now, all audio clips are pasted into my song, on new audio tracks. It's quite a lot of audio data, so this operation could take a minute. Since I want to use the channels and settings of the additional mix, I have to move my audio clips to the additional mix tracks instead. Select all audio clips on the new drum tracks and drag to the corresponding tracks of the additional mix document, like this. OK, let's play back the song. Yep, that's definitely the drum sound I want. Now that I've moved the drum audio clips, I can just delete the unused audio tracks. Then, I can continue building my song by adding more tracks and by rearranging the drum audio clips as described in the previous tutorial. So, that's how you can define the overall drum sound using the additional mix documents in the Record Drum Takes Refill.